Yo, 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 this your boy, you know, Jerry, you did. Let's I'm an unsigned independent artist from the Bay Lindsay, Philadelphia. Let's get right into it. Man, I want to say that I started off rap probably around the age of like 12, going on 13. And around that time, I used to be around, you know, a couple of my homies, you know, we'd be up on the block or whatnot. You know, everybody just be chilling. And, you know, we get our little cyphers popping or whatnot. Next thing you know, G, go into that, man, rip that thing. And you already know what I did. So I went ahead, did what I got to do, you feel me? And, um, you know, from that point on, it's just, you know, the, the people I surrounded myself by, especially around my neighborhood, I got nothing but love and support, you know, especially when it came to the music. Because at the end of the day, you know, that's all it is, is just support. And, you know, in the streets of Philadelphia, you know, support is probably the hardest thing to come by. But once they see that you got real actual talent and they know that you can do something with it, you just get nothing but love and support from everybody. And that's what made me want to get right into it. Now, as far as music is concerned, especially when it comes to the influences, it had to definitely be like me, Cassidy, Chris Brown, August Alsina. But when it comes to like the underground street rap, it was definitely like me, mainly because, you know, we both grew up in the streets of Philadelphia. We both know what it's about. Um, and I idolized them growing up because mainly because it's like, you know, we all know about the situations that can happen on an everyday basis. But he was given an opportunity to make something of himself throughout that time. And um, it's just it, everything that he preached in his music definitely touched me growing up. And, um, you know, it made me take my perspective on life definitely, uh, definitely different. Um, but if I had to describe my type of music, it's definitely storytelling mainly because you know i've dealt with my share of you know you know problems or anything else that an, another person could deal with but especially if you hear it in my lyrics i go through a lot of certain things a lot of trials and tribulations but i like to share my story with a lot of people that's able to compare and you know share the exact same thing that i've been dealing with my entire life now if there was one thing that I had to bring back into the music industry is probably the same type of music I grew up listening to. And that being said, it was more like, if I listen to a song, I want to be able to relate to it. I want to be able to picture it in my head and be like, damn, like I, I dealt with that. Now it's like how you go about it. You know, not disregarding any of the artists that is, you know, out today because a lot of people have their own preference of music. But you're not going to catch me rapping about stuff that I don't have. I'm not going to be sitting here rapping about, you know, money, drugs, you know, females or whatnot. That's just not me. I like to talk about, you know, the main meaning behind music, you feel me? And that's what it's all about. Now, going into it, as of right now, I don't have any release projects, but I do have one in the making as of right now. But on top of all of that, I want to say that the greatest opportunity that I had so far, especially in my music career, is not even just being in the recording studio. It's me being in front of an audience and me feeding off of the energy, me seeing the excitement on their faces because of the music that I took time out to create. Stay tuned for new music. And if you don't, make sure to follow me on Instagram at You Know Geo. And more music, YouTube and SoundCloud under You Know Geo. Thanks for watching.